Hello, Floss Tube. It's Sarah, handmade by Sarah W. Welcome to my Floss Tube channel. This is Floss Tube number 21, and I'm so happy you're here with me today. It is Sunday, March 17th. Happy Sunday. I'm glad you're here. Welcome. I have a lot of new subscribers, and I want to say thank you to everybody that has been watching my, my videos since I first started making them, and to everybody that is new that has come over, thank you. My friend Sarah from Sarah Stitchery mentioned me, and so many people have come over since her last video, because I had said on my video, let me know how you found me. And I had so many comments that said that Sarah sent them to me. So first of all, thank you, Sarah. And thank you, welcome to all of our new friends that are here along for the cross stitch. I'm so excited that you're here. I'm Sarah, I live in Alabama, and I stitch primarily on Ada. So I know that a lot of people also mentioned that they were excited to find me because I, I do stitch on Ada. So I think we can all stitch on whatever we want to stitch on and it's beautiful and wonderful and I just happen to like Ada a lot. <laughs> so I like to find beautiful hand dyed Adas and that's just what makes me happy to stitch on. So whatever you're stitching on, welcome just you know we're all here for the love that we share of this craft which is cross stitch and i do some other crafts too i like to sew quilt and i've started knitting so but mostly my channel is about cross stitch so today i have four fully finished items who am i <laughs> i'm so excited to show them to you i have um four whips and I have two new starts and I have a special surprise announcement that I'm really excited to share. I'm going to save that for the end. So please, if you will stick around to the end so that I can share some exciting news with you and hopefully you'll be excited about it too. And I also brought over some of my past springy Eastery stitches to show you because they're just so cute and I'm about to put them out. And I knew if I didn't show them now, it, Easter would come and go and I wouldn't have shown them. So I would like to share those with you today as well. First of all, let's look at the things that I fully finished. Okay. Two, okay, I'm gonna start with the two that are kind of alike from the same designer, we'll say that. All four of my finishes that I'm gonna show you were all finished in pillows. So the first one that I'm going to show you is by Plum Street Samplers and it's Cardinal Kin. I absolutely adore this chart and the way that this red chenille looks with the Daddy Cardinal, it just, I just keep looking at it and I'm like, it is so beautiful. So this chart was gifted to me by my good friend Allie. We stitched this together and also the, the floss that she gifted me. And I could not be more happy with how this looks. I love it so much. And so on the back, I did um, finish it with a fabric that has cardinals on it. So I thought that that looked so good. This was stitched on, it was some um, Ada that was from Hobby Lobby and it's a 14 count, so it's not super small. I mean, it's like the size of my hand, but I love it. I love it so much. Um, now, anything that I show, I'm gonna go ahead and say that, like these past finishes, I don't have all the information here in front of me, so I'm happy to share with you anything that I used. You just have to ask. Um, send me a message on like a DM on Instagram is probably the easiest way. Um, it's so easy for me to keep track of those, like what I've responded to and what I haven't, or an email. All my information is going to be below in the description, so you can reach me in any of those ways. Now, um, 
let's see, so three of the flosses were fancy flosses and the rest was DMC. And so I wanna say it was all the call for, but again, I have all of that information. I just don't have it up here. Um, and I'm happy to share if you want me to, but that actually, actually that chart is charted in two different like colorways. There's Cardinal Kin 1 and Cardinal Kin 2, and we did Cardinal Kin 1. Okay, I have another little cutie by Plum Street, and it's also one of the stacks, and it is Bigfoot Bunch. So cute. Now look at the size difference because this one is on a 14 count and this one is on a 20 count. So I did a 20 count um, vintage country mocha and oh my gosh, it's so cute. And I did a black chenille around it. And then the back fabric has trees that just made me think that they were kind of squatchy. This is the kind of tree that you're gonna see around where these guys live. So, um, I did stitch this and I got ahead, like I finished mine and my friend is not finished. So <laughs> she is working on hers, but I stitched this with my friend Jacintha and she is, um, crafting on the planes. She's on, um, Instagram and she has a YouTube channel too. Um, and she also has sent people my way. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. And listen, whenever I stitch something with somebody, like I typically never ever, like I can't even think of a thing that I've ever stitched where it's been a structured like, let's do, you know, this half by this day to whatever. It, to me, I don't really love rules for my stitching. I just wanna stitch what's calling my name that day. So I'm more of a start along kind of girl. Let's start it together and then do your thing. <laughs> so, Girl, you are not behind. I just kind of went crazy and went and zooming on with this. So it's like stitch whatever you're gonna stitch whenever you want. That's fine. That's how I roll. <laughs> and um, okay, my other two finishes. The reason that I was kind of inspired to do these to get these finished was because um, I did. I did start, you know what, if you'll excuse me for just one second, I have another one. I didn't just fully finish it, but I do want to show it because it's a set and it goes together and I can see it over on my cutting table. So if you'll excuse me for just a second, I'm going to grab that. Okay. All right, I got it. I'm back. I think you'll want to see it. So I'm glad I went to get it. Okay. I was about to start, let me show you the pattern so we can start there. I've talked about this in a lot of my videos and it is Seasons of the Heart by Brenda Gervais. Now, I had already stitched autumn and winter and spring. Recently, I finished spring. So one of my new starts is summer, and I'm gonna show you that. But before I do, and this is what inspired me to go ahead and finish up those past two that were not fully finished. Um, I had finished stitching them, I just never finished putting, you know, putting them together. So this is not new. I, I finished this back in, like in autumn, because I had it displayed this year. But this is the autumn pillow. I just wanted you to see it. And I did just finish it on the back with just an orange fabric. But I used white rickrack on this one. Oh, I did change the house color. The autumn house color was like a brown. And I did change it um, to a blue. And also with all of these, I didn't do the little um, season name. I just carried the um, border throughout. So that's autumn. Then winter. I did a red rickrack, which I am really digging on this one. So cute. I do not think, no, I did not change the house color. I did buy the called for. However, my house color to me looks more of like a green yellow 
And in the chart, it looks more like a blue green. I don't know. Yeah, you can probably kind of tell there. But I did buy the call for. It was um, artichoke, Weeks artichoke. And so mine just looks more of what I would think an artichoke color would look like. But anyway, I love it. I'm happy with that color. I just want you to be aware that if you are going to stitch it and you wanted it to be more of like a blue green, it's you might look at your floss just to make sure. <laughs> but the fabric that I put on the back are these winter berries that I thought went really good with that border. I'm super happy. Love it. So I did get this one fully finished. This was a new fully finished and then spring. I went ahead and did that. And I did a white rickrack for that one. I think I showed this finish last time. And I did change that house color too. It was like a brown with a blue door and I swapped the colors. And I actually changed it. The call for was a DMC. Um, I'll tell you what it was. Okay, it was 522 for the door, but I went ahead and did Mountain Mist for the house. I just, I really like the idea of the, of using that color because I had used that color for another um, brand of Gervais. I think it was on Every Evening Flower or something. It's, I don't know. I just was like, oh, that would be really pretty. So, got that done. The fabric that I put on the back, I feel like is so perfect. It's this green floral my mom had gifted me some fabrics that she had, you know, just like in her stash. And she was like, here, I think you could make good use of these. And this was one of those fabrics. And so it's special to me. Um, I also felt like this fabric was special to me too. The one that's on the back of winter. Because when I did, um, when we did that stitch along for the um, berries in bloom. Was that what it was called? The hands-on design little... Christmas, um, I made some bags to do as giveaways and that was some of the fabric. And so it just kind of made, like it reminded me of that and it just, it felt special to me. All right, so that's my, what I fully finished this past um, two weeks since I've seen you. And if you are new here, I typically do a video every two weeks. So that's kind of what you can count on from me. Um, so let's just go straight into the new starts since I've already told you what one of them is. I did start summer. Now this is on a fiber on a whim fabric and it is called, it is Cafe Ole, I believe. And so this is where I've gotten so far. I'll just go ahead and show you. Um, I am not using any of the fancy floss for this. Um, but mostly it is fancy floss, I believe. Let's see. But I did a, okay, there's only two DMC colors and then 13 fancy floss. There's classic color works, general arts, and weeks. I did a whole DMC conversion and so I'm using all DMC on this one. <clears throat> I chose um, 221, that's one of my favorite reds. And so I chose that for the house. And I just, I typically start in the middle, so I started there this time. And um, yeah, if you're interested in any of my conversions, a lot of people do reach out to me for DMC conversions because I do do a lot of DMC conversions and I'll, I'll change things to use all DMC or like a little, a little DMC, a little fancy floss. So I don't ever mind, just reach out to me. It's easy on Instagram because I can just send you a picture of what I've done, you know, so, um, or an email. I do have this. I wanted to show you how cute this patriotic project keeper is. I made this and it was with the um, pattern from Tiger Lily Design, she has a pattern for project keepers. And so this was one that I made that I really, like, I love this so much. I love it so much that I thought, why don't I always have a patriotic stitch going and keep it in this? 
And so I've been already thinking about what my next one is gonna be. So stay tuned. <laughs> okay, and then uh, my next new start, so that was one. Then we have, Okay, this is from Blackbird Designs. I love Blackbird Designs so much. This chart was gifted to me by my sister. This is part of a series, the Loose Feather series. This is number nine. And this is the last ripe berries. She also got me Sing a Song of Seasons. So I have both of these. I do want to get more of them. I have an idea in mind how exactly how and where I want to display them. And I think they're just gonna be beautiful in matching frames vertically. Um, downstairs in my house, I have a, a special spot picked out. So I did get a start on this one. And I started in the middle and I started on the blue of that bird's um, wing. Okay, I'm doing this on a 16 count. Picture this plus Wren. And I think Wren is the called for, which I hardly ever am using the called for <laughs> fabric for anything. A lot of times charts call for colors that I can't get, like they're linen and it's not something that they do in an Ada. So I've given up on getting called for fabric a long time ago. Wren is one of my favorite colors. And so I use a lot for Blackbird um, and they use it a lot for their called for. So yeah, of course it's called for 36 count uh, linen, but hey, I'm using Ada. <laughs> so here is where I'm at. So another thing about me, if you're new here, I do like to color complete on small objects like this. And so I was doing that blue for the, the wing and I just carried on for the blue in the border. And then I started on, it's like a grayish brown next. And, um, yeah. I did, I, I, I'm usually super, super careful and I don't have to frog a lot. Um, and people always ask me like, how can you color complete? And you just count so far away, do you not make mistakes? Really, I typically don't make a lot just because I'm constantly comparing where I'm at to something else or, you know, I, I just make sure. I just, I don't like to frog and it makes me upset if I mess up. So I just try to go slow sometimes and be careful, right? Well, I started up here on that grayish brown and I was coming around and when I hit the first blue, see if I had not color completed, I would have never known that I was off. I came around, got to the blue and I was off by one stitch. I was like a stitch too high. And I was like, what in the world? Did I mess up with my color completion counting? And it was really bothering me. And so I was checking everything and I had a feeling that it was in the border, sometimes in borders where it kind of goes like diagonal. I, I just had a feeling that that's what it was and it was. So I wasn't off in my blue, like far away counting. That's not it, but that counting saved me from making the mistake. Now I could have just left it and figured it out, but it wasn't much to frog, so I just went ahead and did that just because I knew I knew it was messed up and it was gonna bother me. So I went ahead and did that and all is right in the world for <laughs> this little piece. So my piece of fabric is folded in half here. So I have an exact uh, same size over here and I'll stitch that next one on that. And uh, um, those are just gonna be so precious and I need to collect more of those charts. These are so sweet and I love the colors. What I'm using is I did get several of the Weeks Dye Works colors. Um, this is that blue, this is deep sea, it's really pretty. That's the blue that I had been working on. This is um, 
Confederate gray and Pelican gray, those are called for in the chart. Um, and I think I had bought one more for that one and then the rest I was gonna do with DMC, so. Or, or I might be getting ahead of myself. I may already have had the other colors and those were just the ones I ordered. I don't know, because I do color complete, so a lot of times I just literally take it a color at a time. Um, like for example, that summer Seasons of the Heart, I've already done my whole color, my whole conversion. I already know all the colors that I'm using. But right now I have only pulled out two of the colors because I'm gonna go ahead and do those in the whole thing. Then I'll put those colors away and I'll grab the next couple. So that's just how I do it. Um, sometimes I don't though. Sometimes I pull all of the colors and have them in my bag. So, you know, it's just, I just do different things different times. <laughs> So my next, okay, let's, those were my two new starts. Okay, now let's talk about, um, wicks. And I do have another fully finished thing, but it's in a different section. So we're gonna save that to the end. Um, okay, let's talk about whips. So last time I showed this, and oh my gosh, did I get some more done on it or what? I'm so excited. This is one of those, it's like when I pull it out, I really get it done. And then I put it away for a while. And then when I pull it out, I get a whole bunch more done. So the chart that I'm talking about is Rejoice Evermore by Brenda Gervais. Is that all I'm stitching this time? feels like it. Okay, so this is the chart, Rejoice Evermore. It's so pretty. The bluebirds are just stunning in this. My mom got me this for my birthday and I could not wait to stitch it. And so last time, I think, I can't, no, I hadn't. I think I was um, starting to get around with the one of the colors in the border. So I finished that, I finished all the leaves, and then there were two other colors that go all the way around, and I, I finished my whole border. It's done. Yay. So pretty. So I am done with the border, and so now what I have left, there is an alphabet that goes across the bottom. There are two more birds on the right side, like these, and then the house in the middle. I'm taking them a section. So in my mind, I've got three sections left. I've got the birds, the house, and the alphabet. I think I might go for the alphabet next, and then the birds, and then the house. I'm excited to stitch that house. It's so pretty. The windows are so pretty to me in it. Look, see if you can see this close up, where you can see the curtains. Isn't that pretty? So cute. The birds are stunning. Someone had asked me um, if I did cross stitches under the bird's wings. If you can, maybe you can see it a little better on my stitching, and yes, I did. I did the cross stitches for the whole bird, and then I went back over and I did the straight stitches, the satin stitches for the wings. But I think that I answered, I can't remember who asked me that, but I'm pretty sure that I had already answered your question, but just in case you didn't see it, there you go, or in case somebody else might have asked. Um, okay, and then, oh, I worked a little bit more on, this is not Bridget Gervais, Plum Street, Blackberry House. I forgot to mention on um, everything that I've shown so far, I've used one strand. I don't think I'm showing you anything today that I used two strands on. Everything is one strand. That last fabric that I used for um, Rejoice Evermore, 
is platinum 18 count. And I'm using a mixture of Fancy Floss and DMC. I can give you that if you'd like, but also I did a full DMC conversion for that one. Some are, um, designers don't give DMC conversions. So I do have one that I did for somebody else. If you're interested in that, I do not mind sharing. And then, okay, so for Blackberry House, I'm using most of the cold for Fancy Floss. And there were, I think, four that I chose DMC on just because they weren't really prominent in the chart. And I'm doing this on 16 count, picture this plus Tyco. And it is so pretty, such a pretty fabric. Check that out. It's just such a pretty neutral, you know, really light modeling, but beautiful. And I just think it goes really good with this chart. So what I've been doing on this since I showed it the last time, has, I think I've just been working on like the dark purple color so that you see here and on that one and it's in some like of the berries and flowers and I'm down here working in this house with that color now so I think that's I think that's all I've done since the, the last video because I think last time I might have sh already shown it where I had finished that banner on the top if so, then yeah, just that dark purple is what I've worked on. I was working on that last night and this morning a little bit. So I think that's all that I had done for that one this past two weeks. I didn't work on it a whole lot. But you know, it all adds up. Sometimes you feel like you're not getting anything done, but it it's necessary to finish. You gotta do it, you know? And then sometimes you feel like your needle is just flying. So speaking of just flying a needle, that's exactly how I feel every single time I work on this. And if you've been here around for a while and you see this one, you get ready. Because I, I think that I made a lot of progress since my last video, I'm pretty sure. Um, this one is my birthday start from this year, which is Jane Hopkins, Hands Across the Sea. I have completed everything except right now I'm working in those big flowers. I kind of saved those for last. I didn't set out to do that. It just ended up happening and I loved that. Look how much I've gotten done of those flowers though. I am so close to a finish on this, so close. When I tell you my needle literally is on fire when I work on this, I've never ever stitched something so fun that I can complete so much of it in a in a session it, it's wild i love this chart so much i am so sad that i'm not going to have it as a whip anymore but i love it i love it i hope that i can find the perfect frame for it i don't think i don't think i have one i think the one i'm looking at over there is too big um i'm not sure though i'll have to check i need the perfect frame for this is it not stunning and as you see, I did a different fabric than the called for. Mine is a pink, light pink model. Um, it's by, it's called Parliament and it is by Forbidden Fiber Co. And it's an 18 count. 18 count tends to be my very favorite and I use one strand. Although I do use a lot of 16 and a lot of 20. So, you know, I'll stitch on whatever, but I think 18, if I had to pick a favorite, it would be 18. But also picture this plus 16 to me, stitches like an 18. So I do buy a lot of 16 picture this plus. They're one of my favorites. I want more um, Forbidden Fiber Co. fabric. I love it. Okay, so that's my Jane Hopkins. And I think I only have one more whip to show. 
And I, last time, this was a new start. It's um, called Sarah's Sewing Bag, and it's Stacy Nash. So that's the outside, and this is what the other side of it will look like. This is so cute. I honestly, I feel like I did stitch a lot on this, but I was work just working on the roof. So I got it done, but it feels like I haven't done a lot, but <laughs> that's okay. I'm doing this on an 18 count LFA Linens Millstone. I got the windows in and the roof is done. And before you say, wait a minute, your chimney is not in the middle. It is not supposed to be. Can you see? <laughs> there. <laughs> so it is right, but for a second when I looked at it, I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because, you know, you're so used to things being symmetrical and stitching a lot of times that um, when it's not, you're like, wait, is, that, is it supposed to be like that? So, um, okay. And then I, that's all. That is all for my new starts and my witch whips. That's all the cross stitching. So um, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you the past finishes that I wanted to show. These are all kind of Easter, springy. Um, let's start with, we'll go by designer. How's that? Because I have three different ones, I think. This is the French giraffe. I did it on a light blue, very light pale blue Ada with a gray, a light gray DMC. Like I always, this information is recorded. I just don't have it all up here with me because it's not a current whip. I did this a year or two ago. So this is also by the French giraffe and it's these little peeps and I made it into this tiny, adorable little pillow. It's so cute and little. Ooh. And now, it went for for a little uh, flat across the room. Sorry about that. Okay, those two were the French giraffe. Okay, this is Sweet Wings Studio. I stitched this with my friend Allie. So cute. I just adore that. I'm gonna take all of these downstairs to display. I'm excited. Then I've got Emily Call. Um, the next three are from her. And this is, you know, I don't really know, like remember all the names of these. Um, if you want to know, you can just reach out and ask me. I'm happy to share. I just, it's been like a couple years, I think, since I've stitched these. Now she has this same kind of like long style, long and skinny in like, um, like there's a Thanksgiving one that I really want. Um, there, She's got different holidays or seasons, I think. Um, I don't know. Check that out if you really like this because I love that skinny long design. And she has several. It would be nice to do all of them, you know. And then this one. Oh, my gosh. This is so cute. I just love this pink bunny. Adorable. There was so much stitching in this. Just, I think when I started it, I didn't think it was gonna be, it was gonna take me as long as it did. And then I felt like it took me a while, <laughs> but it was so worth it because he's so cute. I just love it. And then this last one, I actually did three of these um, because I did one for me and one for my mom and my sister. And he was by Emily Call too. I wanted think he was like a little freebie. This is what the back looks like. Um, I just did a fabric that I had in my stash. Fussy cut it to have the bunny's face on the back. And then I just put it on a little hanger. I love a finish like this. So sweet. I love the little pom-poms. I can't remember how she had hers finished. It might have been something similar. I really can't remember. I'll have to look, but I bet if you look back on her Instagram, you'll see that. And then um, I'll show my knitting really quick. I don't have a lot to show. 
and then I'll show, I'll talk about my announcement that I'm excited to share. So first things first, I finished my beanie, I think since the last video. I don't think it was all the way done, I wanna say. I can't remember, I'm sorry. Um, but it's done. If I didn't, sh if I didn't, I can't remember. I feel like I didn't show it all the way done last time, but I might have. But hey, here it is again. I didn't block it yet, but it's a beanie and it's, sorry, I have like a bow, but it fits. <laughs> um, it's cute. So yeah, I need to block it and then that'll be ready. I'm so excited. Although it's, I mean, I can't wear it this year, but that's okay. My next knitting project. So my family wanted a beanie too. You know, I figured I would end up making two more. So I went to, I went shopping online with Legacy Fiber Arts. And one of the colors that I picked up from them is called Bluebells. And I did cake it. I got, I got a Swift and a winder already. Like, I think I'm just diving in and I'm gonna be a knitter. So this is a beautiful yarn and it's been really fun to use. Now I wasn't sure, I didn't know if I needed to do another gauge swatch or not because this was a different yarn. Like this yarn, my friend Ashley dyed. She has a shop called Paper Crane Yarns. Well, this is a different company. So I know that cross stitch hand dyed fabric is different for each dyer. So in theory, it's supposed to kind of be the same. It's 16 count Ada, why isn't it the same from each dyer? So I didn't know if I needed to do another gauge swatch. So I went ahead and did it because like I said, I, I don't know, I'm new. So I went ahead and did it, but I haven't blocked it yet because I just finished my gauge swatch last night. But let me see if I can put it on here so you can see the color is so pretty but it's kind of curling up just because I did not block, not block it. I think I said I didn't gauge swatch it. I didn't block it yet is what, it, what you call that. So that's what it's going to look like. Um, so now I can start the actual beanie itself. So that'll be my next. I don't think that knitting is going to be my true love. I think cross stitch always will be, but there are times when you have 20 minutes that you could be doing something with your hands, but it's not really a good situation to like get out your, all your cross stitch stuff. I mean, I'm even sometimes knitting standing up. Um, so I think for me in a situation like that, grabbing my bag and saying, I'm going to put, I'm going to do a few rounds or whatever. This is the perfect thing for that. I love to keep my hands busy. So, you know, I'm excited to, to have a new craft. I don't think it's gonna be like what I do every single day, um, but you know, just we'll see what happens. I mean, the more confident that I get in it, and I have some good friends that are giving me good advice and helping me out. So who knows? We'll see what happens with Handmade by Sarah W and the, and the knitting. <laughs> um, okay. Next thing I want to show you is a plan, just some plans, okay? So I ordered a market chart, but I don't have it yet. But I just wanted to share, if you watch Sarah's Stitchery, if you don't, please do. She is my good friend, Sarah, and you got to watch both of the Sarahs. <laughs> um, she is hosting a stitch along for a chart that came out with Market. And this is by Kathy with Hands on Design and it is called Spring Folk. The, if you had seen um, Chantel 141 Design Company, she did a retreat last year and she had, they had put out, they had a collaboration, Hands on Design and Chantel, where Chantel had a board and she was the featured designer there and they were all given this autumn stitch to do. And it kind of looks similar and it, and, but I guess she's going to do all of the holiday or all of the seasons. 
And so, but that one was an exclusive for that retreat, but it's going to come out. I don't know if it already did or if it will, I'm not really sure, but all I know is that I, know I did not stitch that one. This is what it looks like, the spring one. It just came out. Look at the cute bunnies. So this will look cute with all the rest of my spring and Eastery stuff, you know? So my chart is not here yet. I do not have my chart. As soon as it comes in, I'm gonna start it. But what I did do is I went ahead and kitted it up and I've got my colors, my floss. I just pulled um, like a strand for each color to get me started and fabric. And this fabric is a 20 count um, cocoa uh, fiber on a whim. Yeah. So I thought it looked pretty similar to the called for, which is a linen. And I did ask Sarah because she already has her chart. And I said, now there are specialty stitches in here. I stitch on Ada. Can I stitch this on Ada? She had talked with Kathy, the designer, and said that yes, it is Ada friendly. So my Ada friends, if you would like to join in on this stitch along, there is a hashtag and it is hashtag HOD Spring Folk Sal. So I'm gonna be starting that. If you wanna start it along with us, please do, you are welcome. So now, the last thing, I'm so excited to share this announcement with you. So you know I showed you my finished beanie and, the, and I did get that at Paper Crane Yarns and it is in the city that I live in. So I have a local yarn shop that is absolutely precious. The owner and I have become friends, her name is Ashley. And I started knitting right when she started stitching. So it's kind of like a fun start to our friendship and start to this story. So she went to market and when she came back, I went to hang out with her and we were looking through all of the charts that she got. Now she is not, she was not a cross stitch store previously. So she is now just starting to carry some cross stitch stuff. So she is not yet having like Ada and linen and so right now she has some charts but she has a lot of yarn and knitting things <laughs> some things I don't even know what they are <laughs> um but she's got beautiful things in there and so she also has an online shop so we decided to host a stitch along together for a chart that has a special story attached to it for both of us kind of when we were hanging out I my eye just kept going to this I just kept like oh my gosh oh my gosh and so I had that you know we were talking about it and I said um we were talking about doing a stitch along together and we were looking at all the charts that she had gotten and I just kept looking at this so I picked it up and I said well what about this one and she told me a story that when she was there at market, she could see it from across the way. And it just, and she was like, I have to go over there right now. And so she loved it. I loved it. I couldn't stop thinking about it and get like, I just kept staring at it. <clears throat> but interestingly enough, I had not even seen this prior to going over there. Like I didn't, in all the you know, pictures that you see online and everything. I just had not seen this one yet. So when I did see it, I instantly was drawn to it. Now, what is this chart? This is called Botanical Study Number One. And this is by Petal Pusher. I've never stitched anything by this designer. So we are gonna do a stitch along together, Ashley and I, and I'm so excited. And I want to invite you to join with us. Now, one thing that's interesting about this chart is she has it in two colorways for fabric. Same floss, but she has this dark fabric, and then she has this light fabric. And I think either way is just stunning. But I'm going with the dark because that's what caught my eye first. And I'll tell you the color of um, fabric that I chose. It is picture this plus and it's called dusk and so 
I ordered my fabric from 123 Stitch, and this is the color that I chose. I, I do hope that you would like to join us, and let me tell you what you can do to join in with us. So, I'm going to put it down below. Ashley just created us a link in her store for this chart. Now, I would really, really like to drive some cross-stitch business to my local yarn shop and local LNS now. So if you would like to participate with us and if you would like to support my friend Ashley and order from her shop, I'm gonna tell you the details. So because we weren't sure how many people might want to participate, um, she's kind of doing like a pre-order the chart so that she knows how many to get. Now, her, her shop, she does a flat rate shipping and it's $5.99 up to $150. So, if you wanna order something else while you're there, you know, you might wanna look around. She has beautiful yarns. But if you're only interested in getting the chart, if that if the shipping when she goes to ship it to you if it is less than $5.99 and this is not like something that she would typically do because she does you know do the flat rate because really most of the stuff you buy from her is gonna even be heavier probably than that because she's selling yarn and things but this is so light to send a chart so she is gonna do us a favor and if when she ships it to you the shipping was less, she'll credit you back that overage because she doesn't want to charge for, um, you know, more than what it really costs. So, but it's just how her website is set up that she does that flat rate, which I can appreciate that. I love a, I love a shop that says, you know what, this is what the shipping is going to be. And then I can decide, well, okay. And you normally I'm going to buy more than one thing <laughs> anyway, but, um, we do hope that you'll join us. We are going to do a um, hashtag, Botanical Study Sal. Easy peasy. And I would be so interested to see if y'all join us, if you choose dark or light fabric. Leave me a comment below and let me know which, which one you like better. Um, now, you have until, well, you can join us whenever, like I said, like, you know, but as far as ordering from Ashley, what she's going to do, we're planning to start this on April 13th. So she is going to, she's going to have that pre-order available till the end of March. So I'm going to put the link below. You can go straight there, order your chart but just know that when she gets it in is when she's gonna send it to you. So this isn't something that we're starting immediately, okay? We're gonna start it on April 13th. So that's a little less than a month away. In the meantime, if you want to gather your supplies while you're waiting on your chart, um, the call for fabric for the dark is Shadow by Picture This Plus. And for the light, she did it on Ren by Picture This Plus, one of my favorite colors. But like I said, I got 16 Count Dusk from Picture This Plus if you want to be, you know, getting what I got. And Ashley, I think, is getting the same one. We both really liked that option. Um, and then they, she does have um, the, all the call for our Week Style Works. And she does give a DMC conversion. So this is what that looks like. For me, I am doing, like I commonly do, two of these fancy flosses and one, or I'm sorry, two of the fancy flosses and the rest DMC. So I'm doing Kentucky Bluegrass and I'm doing Grasshopper. And actually Kentucky Bluegrass I already have because it is in, um, Rejoice Evermore. So I have that color already. And I don't think, I did order the Grasshopper one because I didn't think that I had that unless it was with a project and I just couldn't remember. But um, 
So that is my big announcement, and I hope that you would like to stitch it with us. And welcome Ashley with Paper Crane Yarns to the stitching community because not only is she now stitching, but she's gonna start to carry some things in her shop, which I could not be more excited about. So if you're, um, if you're interested, please use the link below and pre-order your chart and stitch along with us. So thank you so much for being here. I know this was a little bit longer than usual, but I hope that you enjoyed seeing my past finishes and my fully finished items and all of my cross stitch. And I hope you have a wonderful two weeks and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks, bye.